This is your sister. You're her big brother. You must always look after her. Dad said I'm in charge and there's no going in the water. <laughs> Dad! The best part of running the Guardian Saloon, I suppose for me, is working with so many talented artists every day. We have people from all over the world as well as old friends um, from Kilkenny here and it uh, keeps me on my toes, you know, every day I come in and I'm inspired by the work that other people are doing. So for me, the collaborative teamwork aspect of it is the most interesting. It's kind of a direct link for me from uh, Kieran's to be near. I'm still uh, sitting beside uh, Ross Stewart every day working on our new film together and uh, we were just reminiscing the other day about the fact that we used to get in trouble for drawing in class and making little flip books in the, in the corner of our copy books and we don't get in trouble for it anymore so it's all good. I remember one day Mr. Keller coming up to me and uh, I was talking about the fact that I was in I was in Young Irish Filmmakers and he said, oh you know, you could study uh, film and I didn't even know there was such a thing as a film school. I remember him explaining to me about Dunleary and Ballyfermot that there was such a thing as film school because I didn't even think such a thing existed. Prior to that I was thinking of going to Edinburgh to study illustration so I could be, because I'd heard some comic book artists had done that so Mr. Keller helped me kind of focus on what might suit me, you know. nominated for an Oscar in 2010, that was the first time and uh, that was good old crack, uh, it was fairly un unexpected and uh, we were just sort of like rats in the headlights just enjoying it and actually when I look back on it it was actually a great experience um, but at the time it was just a blur, you know, it just went past but again made lots of friends and contacts that were useful for the country. I became an academy member in 2011 so I was been more involved in the whole process and nominations and stuff like that. So I kind of had seen a bit behind the curtain by that stage. When I was in Kieran's, uh, I was unmercifully, unmercifully slagged all from 1989 onwards for being a Batman fan. And I, of course, defiantly became more and more of a Batman fan for that reason. And so I was delighted to be uh, nominated the same year as Michael Keaton. And uh, I got to shake his hand and get a selfie with him and uh, hang out a bit with Batman. So I thought that was a, a nice little triumph for uh, my, Kieran's self, you know. Yeah, we went for a drink after the after the uh, animation category, and they filled our desk, our chairs with the odds fill in your seat. And uh, yeah, and we went to go back in, and myself and uh, Lisa and uh, Miley Cyrus were locked out. We had to hang out until they let us back in because they won't let you in during the it's on. You know, you only let you in during the breaks. So. At the time, I didn't know her name. I thought she was called Hannah Montana, and uh, I called her Hannah Montana. <laughs> and, uh, but that was only your character's name on the Disney show. I think the thing is that happened for me, if I'm really frank about it in school, is that there was kind of a little bunch of slightly weirder people that we all stuck together, you know? And uh, I kind of found my group that way, and I kind of found the kind of people that uh, I gravitate towards for the rest of my life. And uh, we found out that there was sort of, in a weird way, strength in numbers, and that you could do more together than going it alone. So that kind of spirit of collaboration, but everyone kind of finds their, finds their place fairly, fairly quickly. and. Uh, before you know it, you won't be the first year, you'll be the leading sort, so enjoy it before it whizzes by you. Yeah.